We have a lot of foot traffic. Adele Hages has watched downtown Norfolk develop over the years from the inside of his business. He's been on Granby Street for over 30 years. There was about three, four restaurants, and then now, as you can see, there's about 30 or, or more. He's looking forward to the resort and casino that's coming to the city. Voters checked yes for the proposed site near Harbor Park that will sit along the Elizabeth River. The casino will be operated by the Pamunkey Indian Tribe, creating more than 2,500 jobs for locals. So it wouldn't be just money going from one pocket to the other. It's money coming to the pockets and spreading around. That's the way I look at it. The spokesperson for the tribe, Jay Smith, says even though Election Day is over, people are still excited about the $500 million casino and resort coming to town. Even now that it's over, we were flooded today with more people requesting yard signs and stickers. Like most controversial issues, there are people against the project. There were some who just have an aversion to gambling, uh, and they probably will never step foot in the casino. And others like Jackie Glass, who have many questions about what is next. What are the people, processes, and policies that need to be put in place to ensure that our city is successful and that we're not just looking at revenue and forgetting about people? People who live in downtown say the casino is a needed addition. I like it a lot. I think it could be more things to do for like nighttime life. Jay Smith says the project is estimated to generate more than 30 million annually for the city of Norfolk and $50 million a year in revenue that will go towards public schools. The tribe is working on getting permits and announcing the construction team. And we hope to have shovels in the ground uh, by early spring of 2021. In Norfolk, Nana St. Bonesu, News 3.